Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board the Hamburg Electric Autonomous Transportation, or HEAT. We are pleased that you have decided to take a trip through Hamburg's harbour city in our autonomously driven shuttle. Along our almost 2 km long route, we will pass 5 stops, as well as the Hamburg Elbphilharmonie. The shuttle is connected to the Hamburg Hochbahn Control Center, from which it receives its strategic timetable. The journey will take about 20 minutes. You will experience the mobility of tomorrow. Of course, people with disabilities can also use our shuttle service. The vehicle has a width of 2 meters, is slightly longer than 5 meters, and is almost 2.70 meters high. Without passengers, the shuttle weighs 3,100 kilograms. Of course, handicapped people can enter the shuttle by using the electric ramp. In a technical manner, the vehicle is consequently designed for autonomous driving. During the entire journey, passengers keep track of the next stops via our information screen. Of course, our shuttle meets the requirements of public transport, so that it can fit seamlessly into the existing mobility concept of the Hamburg Hochbahn. In regular operation, our shuttle provides enough space for up to nine people. The modern room concept also allows the transport of strollers, making the shuttle extremely family-friendly. The tropical roof ensures efficiently a good climate in the interior at all times. The HEAT project represents our Mobility Approach 4.0, in which we bring the shuttle together with the Hamburg Hochbahn Control Center as well as the road and charging infrastructure. This enables us to demonstrate a flexible, modern and autonomous mobility offer for the last mile. Heat is powered by an electric front-wheel drive. The battery capacity provides enough energy for an all-day shuttle service. The shuttle can recharge 80% of its battery capacity within half an hour. The redundantly designed sensor setup consisting of 10 laser scanners and 8 radar sensors as well as 5 cameras are used for early detection of obstacles and the avoidance of critical traffic situations. The exact location of the shuttle by means of landmarks such as trees, traffic signs or specific local features ensures that the shuttle is properly positioned in its surroundings at all times. The roadside sensor system, which was installed primarily at intersections, provides early information on areas that cannot be seen, for example behind corners of houses or at intersections. In addition, the shuttle receives secured information about the current traffic light phase sent out by the light signal system. On the monitor, you can now see how the shuttle is supported by traffic light and object detection at a junction and handles the turn process. The ADD stack, Automated Driving, handles data preparation, analysis and fusion. These steps are used for the maneuver planning and vehicle control. As a result, the shuttle drives not only safely in a densely populated inner city environment, but also speeds up to 25 km per hour. The project partners involved deliberately chose a complicated and lively transport environment when selecting routes, in order to be confronted with a multitude of complex traffic situations in the Hafen city. This allows us to perform derivatives for other setups such as urban suburbs or new business areas like automated parcel services. Among the highlights of the route is a lift bridge next to the Elbphilharmonie. 
If the lift bridge has just been raised, the control center sends a new route to the shuttle, avoiding being stuck in a traffic jam ahead of the lifting bridge. In case of insufficient time for changing the schedule, the shuttle keeps its position and waits until the ride can be continued. Other interesting driving situations include passing an intersection without traffic lights with priority regulations, as well as handling multi-lane crossings based on information from light signaling systems. In addition, the route includes a two-lane section, as well as a dedicated bus and bicycle lane. Perhaps you have already wondered why our autonomous shuttle has a vehicle attendant on board, and why the heat shuttle has its own cockpit. At the beginning of our development project, there was no law in Germany that regulates the operation of an autonomous shuttle without cockpit and vehicle attendance on public roads. Since this summer, there has been such a law for autonomous vehicles. The goal of future projects is the realization of autonomous driving in public spaces without attendance in the vehicle. The control center defines the route according to the public transport schedule. Depending on the current situation, for example the traffic, the shuttle decides when to leave the bus stop. The shuttle transmits its status to the transport operator. Thus, the Hamburg Hochbahn always knows where the shuttle is currently located and is also informed about irregular situations in the shuttle and special traffic events, such as traffic jams or road closures, as well as the weather. Considering this information, the control center plans and deploys the shuttle's schedule in real time. If the shuttle encounters obstacles on its way, it will stop at a safe distance first. Such obstacles may include pedestrians, cyclists, e-scooters or other vehicles. During the test phase, we also had our experience with road sweepers, which sometimes drive on the road and at the next moment on the pavement. The shuttle can drive around obstacles and, if necessary, change lanes, for example when other vehicles are parked in the second row. The vehicle performs a digital shoulder view before changing lanes. The sensors observe the traffic at the rear so that lane changes are only carried out when they are safely operable. On the monitor you can now see how the shuttle uses its sensors to master one of the most unexplained driving maneuvers, the left turn. The car driving on the other lane seems to be invisible for the heat shuttle, causing it to be hidden behind a tree. Roadside sensors recognize the car and send information to the shuttle to avoid a collision with the oncoming traffic. The shuttle combines the data from its own sensors and those of the environment and only starts the turning process when it is safe to do so. Dear passengers, I hope you enjoyed the ride in our heat shuttle. At IAV, we are working hard to make the mobility of tomorrow even more sustainable, more flexible and more comfortable. With the Hafen City, we have chosen a challenging setup with many complex traffic situations. And we have proven that operating autonomous shuttles in busy city centers is feasible. Our goal is that in the near future, this experience will become reality in many cities all over the world. Thank you for being our guest and thank you for riding our heat shuttle. We hope you had an interesting trip with heat and thank you for your confidence. Further information about our project can be found on the internet at iav.com. We wish you a nice day.